Hey, from the Jessup's dining room um, and what is functioning as our worship space. It's been a while since I've done a video. Um, someone asked me the other day, and it's been hard to find words or uh, slightly feel motivated, but in the midst of all this, uh, maybe not so much motivated, just hard to find the words. But um, we have been talking amongst the leadership of the church about looking towards... Um, returning to in-person worship, um, and that's not happening immediately. It's still a little ways off, as Governor Reynolds said that we could, but um, just because we can doesn't mean we should just yet. Um, thankfully, we have very smart, gifted, talented people on the session, on leadership, um, who are working diligently to make these decisions and are prayerfully considering them. Uh, so they're be on the lookout for more information uh, because it will not be the same. Um, in all honesty, nothing really is going to be the same. We can't, we were foolish to think that we uh, are just going to go back to the way things exactly the way they were. We're, we're not the same after this. Um, maybe, maybe for good, maybe for a good purpose and a good reason. Maybe we're, hopefully we're better for it. Um, but the more I've been thinking about as we return to some sense of what we consider normalcy meeting in person and things like that, I've, I've thought about um, this scripture, and it's from John uh, 21, um, verses 1 through 8. Uh, it goes like this. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he showed himself in this way. Uh, gathered there were Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana and Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples. And Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just after daybreak, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, you have no fish, have you? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net to the right side of the boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in because there were so many fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard this, heard that it was the Lord, he put on some clothes, for he was naked, and he jumped into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far from the land, only a hundred yards off. Let's go fishing. Peter has been there for it all. He has seen Jesus crucified. He has denied him. He has been there for resurrection and in the room with locked doors and Jesus has sent him on great commandment to be a different person and his response is to go back to the same exact thing. Let's go fishing. So they go back and surprise, surprise, they catch no fish until Jesus shows up. And Jesus shows up and says what he said when he first met him, why don't you try the other side of the boat? This scripture rings true and powerful because we can't go back to doing it the exact same way we were. Because if we do, we may not catch any fish. But, finding a new way, a more powerful way to worship, to serve, to love, we may catch a lot more fish. So many that the boat almost sinks. Fish can be a metaphor for whatever you wanted, people, or, or spirituality, or a deeper faith. But I know this. If we just try to run back to the same way it was, uh, we're not going to catch any fish. In fact, we may lose some fish, so to speak. So... In this time, the leadership of the church covets your prayers. We covet your patience, um, that we seek this new way to do things. Um, so we hope and we pray 
and we look forward to seeing you all, being with you all soon. We will continue to do Zoom. And remember, there's always a new way with Jesus, just like he says, just like God says in Jeremiah, look, I am about to do a new thing. Thank you all for your prayers and your patience, and hopefully we'll see you all soon. Blessings.